Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It is Vlogmas Day 17. We are all more, we are over the hill now, all down here from now on, y'all. I'm just sharing with something I absolutely love. And y'all probably don't know. Cherry cheesecake is one of the most popular desserts in Christmas time. I don't know why. I got a friend of mine, she sells cheesecake. I think she sells them out of her house. During the holiday season, Christmas time, she sells a minimum of 100. That's, and she sells all kinds of baked goods. But she said Christmas time, it's all about cherry cheesecake. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the festive look and give it or whatever. So I'm going to do my version of, of uh, cherry cheesecake. So I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way. Because first thing I need to do, I need to work on my key to ingredient, I think, of all cheesecake. It's a nice graham cracker crust. So I'm going to get this here out the way that I don't need. And we'll get back to this later. Okay. Make this graham cracker crust here. Number one thing, I got a the uh, screen form pan and I put foil under the bottom. The reason I do that, I cook my cheesecake in a little water in my pan. That way the cheesecake doesn't split. You know, if your cheesecake ever split, it's because it's not cooking evenly. So when you put water in the bottom of the pan, it helps the cheesecake cook more evenly and not split on you. So that's a little tip there for y'all. But you got to make sure you put some foil on the bottom so the water doesn't kind of seep in there if you got an older type pan. But I don't take no chances. I always put the uh, foil on the bottom. Okay, all I got here now is some graham cracker crumbs. I like to put sugar in my crust. That's just me. If you don't like a sweet crust, I like my uh, graham cracker crust to be kind of sweet. That's just me. If you don't like that, you can avoid that. Now, we're going to just add some melted butter. Very simple, y'all, the graham cracker crust. Just like any other graham cracker crust you make. You might have to melt some more butter, which I do have to do sometimes. You will know here in a minute. Use all that in there. If I gotta add melt some more butter, I think I am. I think I'm gonna have to add melt a little bit more butter. Let's see here. We'll see here, y'all. It might work. I think I got enough, y'all. I think I got enough here. Let's see. We not know when I push it together. Yeah, I got just enough. Just enough butter. Okay, now. All I'm going to do now, y'all, I like a thicker crust than most people. Some people like a thin crust. I like a thick crust. Now, what I like to do, put it in the bottom of the pan, of course. I don't like to go up the sides with mine. I like that edge to be... I go up the sides first with it. So I got a good crust on the end, edge. You know, when you cut the cheesecake, you want that good edge of your cheesecake to be. So I just go up the sides of it. I'm going to push it up. I mean, making cheesecake is really no, no science in it. Okay, now, once I get it to the edges, I got a little trick that I use here to make sure it's packed down. I use a little measuring cup like this. What I do, I just go in the inside of it and just kind of pack it down just like this, y'all. Make sure it's packed down. Really, really good. All the way up the edges. Just pack down a little bit more here. It's very important on the bottom more than the sides, y'all. You definitely want it to be up on the sides. So when you cut it, you'll see that nice. A little bit more here. And that's it. Now you can either freeze this, y'all, but I don't. I like cook mine in the oven 350 degrees, about 15 minutes. 
until it get a nice cook on it. That's a word, cook on it. And then we'll be back and we'll start on the filling. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, y'all, now we're gonna work on the filling for this. Cheesecake filling, very simple. And it's very important. I got my clean cheese room temperature. In fact, I took it out last night and uh, let it get room temperature. And I wanna cream that, get a little cream on it. You don't wanna over mix it, but you don't wanna put air in it. You don't want an air cheesecake, you want it to be smooth. Okay, now, we're gonna add the cream cheese, I mean, uh, sour cream it is. And we're gonna get them both really smooth here, y'all. And then we're gonna add the sugar to this. Get them mixed up together. Scrape the bowl down here. Beaters, and then we're gonna add the sugar in just a second. Look at this. Okay, now we're gonna add the sugar to this. We want the sugar to get pretty much incorporated in here. Go ahead and add my vanilla. Break the bowl down again. We want it definitely to be smooth, y'all. Time. You definitely want to make sure you get all the way down to the bottom there. Get all that done because you want the cheesecake to be really smooth here. it y'all we're gonna take it out here and I'm gonna mix it by hand here and make sure everything is fully incorporated here and that's it and all we gotta do y'all now we just wait on the crust to get ready in the oven once you come out the oven I'm gonna let it cool by five minutes uh, the crust we're going to pour this in the crust and we're going to cook it for about 45 minutes and that's it what i like to do too y'all that kind of if it's got any lumps in there even though they're going to melt i like to push it against the bowl make sure you got a smooth nothing like a cheesecake you know it'd be very smooth That's it, y'all. We'll be right back once the crust gets ready in the oven. We'll pour it in the oven. We'll be ready. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back. The crust is out of the oven. 
And you can see how the crust is golden brown. So now all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna carefully pull this in here. And the crust here. And you see why I went up on the sides of the crust as much as I could. So everything is touching. Of course, it ain't got to be all the way up there. Now, the trick I told y'all to make sure you don't have a, trying to spread that just a little bit, it doesn't matter. It's gonna spread out itself. Your cheesecake doesn't split. All I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna put some water in the pan. That way the cheesecake will cook evenly. But the reason your cheesecake split on you is because it's not cooking evenly. So I'm gonna cook this in the oven 300 degrees for about 40, 45 minutes. That's all it's gonna take. To come back, we're gonna cool it off. And all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna spread some cherries on it. That's why we're gonna get the cherry cheesecake. So anyway, Vlogmas Day 17 almost through. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. See the cheesecake is finished. See how it has no cracks in it. it. Got a little hole in there where I stuck the toothpick to make sure it was done. But that's what you want. Not a lot of color on it, but this one really doesn't matter if you got color. Because later on, after this thing completely cool, I'm going to put my cherry topping on top. And then we're going we're gonna to cut it. But this here needs to cool completely. But one thing you need not need to do. Or not, it's going to split on you anyway. Let this thing cool down on the counter at least a couple hours. Then put it in the refrigerator and let it cool. If you put this hot cheesecake in the refrigerator like this, that thing is going to crack on you right down the middle. So you're going to ruin all that, putting it in the water bath, cooking it properly. You're going to put it in the refrigerator hot. It's going to crack on you. It's going to split on you. Believe I made a million cheesecakes at my job. I know all the tricks. It's like the water bath trick. So... You see it, no color on it, and no splits, no cracks, no nothing. So we're going to come back. It's going to be probably late this afternoon when I cut this thing and show you the final result of the cheesecake. I'm going to show you before I cut it, and then, of course, I'll show you after I cut it just to show you it's still, when it get out of the refrigerator, it hasn't cracked. I don't want you to put sauce on it. You think, oh, it, it cracked on it. I'm going to show you and prove it to you. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back later on, and I'm going to show you the end result of this. Uh, vlog was day 17. Almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Okay. The, uh, hold on, y'all. Here. Dylan's left because he took so long. This takes a long time to cool. You can wait him six hours. Just wait on cheesecake to cool. I know he definitely want to taste this one. It'll be plenty left. So, anyway, cheesecake is cool. But what I like to do. First thing I like to do is kind of go around the edges. While I try to open this up. I'm going to go around the edges here. Now, as you can see, the cheesecake is not split, no nothing. Before I do that, open it up, I'm going to put my cherries on here. And all I use, y'all, is my can of cherries you get in the supermarket. See these? That's all I use, y'all. I don't make no cherry sauce. I don't do nothing. This stuff works perfect. It's been working for years. All I do, put it in there like that. Make sure they all on there. I take my spatula. Go around the edge just like this. That's all I do, y'all. Nothing fancy. How easy is that? That's your cherry cheesecake right there. Now, now, get this out of here. Not to get it out, but we'll take this, open it up. That's why I did it while it's still in the container, y'all. In the container. In the, uh, in the ring. So when I open it up, 
it's all good just like that. The crust is nice and hard on the side. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a YouTube thumbnail here. I'm gonna cut me a slice. And we're gonna come back here, y'all, and we're gonna try some old school cherry cheesecake. Vlogmas day, I think it's 18, right? <laughs> I'll have to check. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Let me show you this here. Look at that. Look at that nice, creamy cherry cheesecake. And I like how the topping just kind of flow over the top. And that's why I do the topping while it's still in the ring. Then you cut it. This is what you get. I'm telling y'all, this is one of the most popular desserts at Christmas. I don't know why. Now I do why. Because it has a little festive look. Maybe you garnish with a little mint on top. You got that little red and white that represents Christmas. So, in that aspect, let's get in here and take a little bite here. Got a cherry on there. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Can you focus? Hmm. Wow. Hmm. That is so smooth and creamy, y'all. Hmm. 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 Look. The cherry on there. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm. Nothing like. Hold on, y'all. Another bite here. Nothing like making your own cheesecake, y'all. Nothing like it. Mm. So smooth and creamy. Mm. Doesn't get much better than this. And cheesecake is so easy. Like I say, you cook it in a pan, a little water in it, a little water bath type thing. Not even a water bath, like not even an inch of water. You saw how I did it. And that helps your cheesecake to cook evenly and not split, because it splits when it's not cooking even enough. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. Let me see what blog is day is. I keep forgetting. This is 17, not 18. <laughs> hey, I'm over the hump though. But anyway, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Vlogmas Day 17 is done.